the solution of the given question. Here, what is the given question? Cycle tires are supplied in a lots of 10 and there is a chance of 1 in 500 to be defective using Poisson distribution. The approximate number of lots containing no defectives in consignment of 10,000 lots if e power minus 0 0.02 equals to 0 0.9802 is. Here clearly in the given problem they mentioned that we have to use the Poisson distribution. First calculate the Poisson distribution. What is the C? What is the probability mass function of Poisson distribution? Probability mass function of Poisson distribution P of x equals to e power minus lambda into lambda power x by factorial x where x equals to 0, 1, 2, so on here. Here in the next step, what is the parameter in the Poisson distribution? Lambda is the parameter. See, when you are facing these type of questions, sir, either in binomial distribution or either in Poisson distribution, question seems very large. So don't read, in especially in competitive exams, we have to save the time, you have to apply the logics. See, first what we request exactly, the approximate number of lots containing the no defective, no defective means x is 0. So when we put x equals to 0 automatically, these terms will disappear. And then only we have to think about a lambda. See, already in the given question, there is e power minus 0 0.02 is there. So what is the lambda value here? Simply you can take lambda equals to 0 0.02. Now what is the Poisson, what is the distribution? Here P of x equals to e power minus 0 0.0 into 0 0.02 whole power how much? x by factorial x. Here but we require the probability of no defective. Probability of no defective means simply P of 0 which is equals to e power minus 0 0.02 into See 0 0.02 whole power 0, how much? 1 by 0 factor means how much? 1 only. This is the problem. This is the required result. One of the required result which is P of 0. Probability of not defective. But uh, let us go back to the uh, given question here. Here we have to find the approximate number of lots. Number of lots containing no defective means. See let me write number of lots. Number of lots containing, containing, containing no defectives containing no defectives equals to number of lots how many what, what are the actual lots 10,000 out of 10,000 take 10,000 into no defect p of 0 that's it which is equals to 10,000 into what is the value of p of 0 e power e power minus 0 0.0 which is equals to 10,000 into, oh, what is the value? e power minus 0 0.02 means 0 0.9802, right? Which is equals to 980. See, these are the lots containing no defectives. This is the required conclusion. Now, let's compare with the given options. What are the given options here? First option is 9980. This is incorrect. Second option 9998. Yes, this is also incorrect. Third, 9802. This is the correct one. So this is the final conclusion. So what is the process we applied? Simply whenever you are facing these type of questions, first you should think about a parameter lambda value and then x value. If p of x equals 0, our, 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 almost uh, the problem is going to finish it in, it in the fraction of movements, means it in the seconds only. See this is the only logic you have to remind. Don't read the entire question and don't waste the time. They will give you only one or two minutes in complete exams. Thanks for watching. All the best.